Welcome everybody, Dr. John here with Orlando Alternative Health, licensed acupuncture physician. And today I'm here continuing a series of sports injury treatments that you may not know are available for you um, and can provide quick and efficient results to help your condition and get you back on the field or court of play. So today I'm actually going to briefly talk about two conditions, a little extra bonus to start your week. Uh, so the first one, very common condition and can be uh, an aggravating one that just doesn't quite go away. And what am I talking about here? Uh, the common term is tennis elbow and uh, doesn't necessarily come just from those that play tennis. I find it very prevalent in a lot of office workers that are on the computer quite a bit. Um, various types of repetitive motion can lead to issues which have uh, pain development in the lateral epicondyle area. Um, so right over here, kind of on this area, maybe many oftentimes it's a little below the elbow, kind of in here, or maybe a little bit above. Um, the fancy term for it is called lateral epicondylitis. So you may go to an orthopedic doctor and they may diagnose it in that fashion. And that's great. Um, there's many treatments out there that people can try. Um, sometimes they might receive some sort of steroid injection. Uh, massage therapy, there's different manual techniques, physical therapy of course, uh, but again I'm gonna introduce you to something here you may not have thought about. Um, utilizing uh, researched base techniques and uh, strong uh, anatomical locations for the muscles that are affected generally by this sort of issue. Um, we do treatment, but before treatment, the real key is proper assessment. So assessment would consist of palpation, so checking the muscles that, uh, that may be an issue with this. Um, then also there's specialized orthopedic testing which would be performed. Um, because, surprisingly enough, just because your pain is right here, that might not really be the issue. So it's important that we look at other areas of the body. Um, not gonna reveal what those are, but if you have this issue or if you have any questions, you know, feel free to shoot me a message. Uh, my Instagram is Orlando Alternative Health, and uh, just feel free to respond, comment on this video if you like it. So again, the assessment is really key because you can uh, needle basically with anything the area of pain and it might get better, it might not, uh, it might upset it some more, but um, based on the specific treatment protocols that we have for this condition of tennis elbow or lateral epicondylitis, uh, it involves a multifaceted approach, um, several treatments, uh, depending upon how the patient responds, it's not generally a long amount of treatments for, uh, or for this type of injury. Um, however, the pain pattern in general um, will have other corresponding issues which will not be just there at the elbow. And why is it important to look at that? Because you may be able to treat it locally right there and you might get some relief, but then it's gonna come back. So are you really doing much if you're just knocking it right there without addressing the bigger picture as a whole? In my opinion, you're not. So that's why it's important to look at all the other issues. Um, so that's just a quick little tidbit, lateral epicondylitis, tennis elbow, something we can give highly effective treatments with acupuncture and uh, dry needling specific type treatment. So the next treatment that I am going to move on and talk about today is uh, one that uh, is actually I find a lot more common than people think about. And that is what we call trigger finger. So that one, we're gonna be careful to use this finger because I don't wanna replay that scene from Top Gun. And those of you that are Top Gun aficionados know what I'm talking about. Little scene with goose in it. So back to the point. I'm gonna use this finger. So trigger finger, many times, patient's finger will just kind of lock up and they'll almost need to like 
take another finger to bring it back down. Um, so that's typically what we call trigger finger. And again, just like the previous uh, injury that we spoke about, trigger finger is generally a multi-layered injury um, involving the specific tendon uh, or the flexors in the hand uh, or tendon in the forearm. Um, and addressing that appropriately and proper assessment through palpation and uh, a visual examination and then also just some basic testing can be so huge in uh, providing the proper approach and getting you the results that you need. Because uh, I don't know about you, but I don't think anyone wants to just walk around like this all the time. Uh, people start to get a little freaked out if you're just pointing them all the time, don't really know what's going on. Now we're in this world where you're wearing masks, you're walking around with a mask, you're pointing at people, you might be sending the wrong message. So on a serious note, uh, trigger finger is something that we can treat very effectively uh, through a combination of very specific soft tissue techniques and a dry needling musculoskeletal acupuncture approach. So. Don't want to make today's video too long, but those two conditions, trigger finger and lateral epicondylitis, or you may know it as tennis elbow, are two conditions that acupuncture and dry needling can specifically target and provide fantastic results for. So hope you've enjoyed today's video and uh, feel free to send me some questions that you may have, DM me. Uh, let me know your thoughts. Again, find me on the web at orlandoalternativehealth.com or on Instagram under Orlando Alternative Health. Have a great day. Thanks for tuning in.